Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Beyond the Beyond. Today we're in the Desert Ruins, and uh, we're going to try to get this done in... Place is hard! Ridiculously hard. And, um, lots of casting enemies here. Lots of enemies that can just destroy you. And it's long. Yeah. We're going to be here for quite some time dealing with the puzzle elements that we have going on here. And it's constant. Make sure that you have plenty of herbs, plenty of antidotes. Um, if you're at lower levels, get some mage's potions. Even if you're at higher levels, hey, mage's potions are never a bad idea. Use whatever it is that you can to get through this place in one piece. It's just a nightmare in here. So what we're going to be doing after hitting that switch is going over here hitting this switch. By the way, there's only one solution to each of these floors as far as how to get the treasure chests and how to get to the exit. So make sure that you follow along because it's going to get rather complex. Okay, here we have a new enemy, the Skeleton Warrior. Thankfully, we only have one of them to deal with. They have 23 HP, but they can paralyze you. Pretty soon, though, we're going to be encountering groups of, like, five or six enemies, and it's just going to be so terrible. But not today, apparently, so that's nice. Anyway, what do we have here? Ooh, get the smoke bomb. I will be selling that piece of junk. Yeah, the game seems to love to give you all sorts of smoke bombs and illusion potions. Just some junk that you want to sell. Anyway, go over here, hit this switch, and hey, we finally made it to the exit. Okay, moving on down, this should be the third floor. I'm gonna go down here and hit this switch. Then uh, I wanna head over this way. Oh, okay, we have some new monsters, the Dire Wolf and the Orc Lords. Um, let's just go after them, it's just one of each, so I'm not gonna use multi-targeting um, magic here. Let's see, the Orc Lords have 26 HP, they can call for help. They can also use herbs. Uh, the Dire Wolves have 27 HP, and they can call for help as well. Yikes! And deal a pretty decent amount of damage, too. Ooh. Yeah, and of course, they're going after Samson. They always do. And Samson sucks! You know what? Let's actually have you guys attack this, and then I'm going to show off my new Fire Drake spell. The nice thing about Taunt is that he is all hitting spells. So, yeah. Um, I didn't really want to waste it on just, you know, two enemies, but eh, I figured I'd show it off. Wow, he has really powerful attacks there. Yeah, look at that! Go taunt! Love it! Yeah, Edward only has group hitting spells right now, no all hitting spells, so that's very nice to have. The enemies really do seem to love to, um really wail on Samson, so um, even though he has plenty of LP left, he was so low on his VP that I really want to make sure that I um, go ahead and heal him up. You could wait until he's down to like zero LP, but that's kind of playing it really risky, especially in a long dungeon like this. Now that we've hit all the switches, let's head on down here, because sometimes these switches, if you didn't hit them, they would create a barrier right here, but now the barrier's gone. So just make your way on through over to this portion of the floor, and yeah, that switch would be like a quick exit. Like, you know, because there's no quick jumps out of here. If you don't have the escape spell or the guiding branch, you're kind of screwed. Okay, so let's see. Let's go over here and hit this switch now to kind of make this go opposite. And then I want to head over this way. Oh, here we have a gargoyle. This guy has 33 HP and no other kind of special skills or abilities or anything else like that. Apparently just a pretty high defensive stat. Yeah, no more 20s from David here. And again, they always go after Samson. Look at my mage's LP as compared to Samson's LP. Like, they have more life points. Everyone has more survivability than Samson. It's really, really pathetic. 
I'm getting kind of lucky with just like ones and twosies here with these fights. I haven't really gotten into any huge fights yet. If I do, I'll be sure to show them off though because I'll be suffering. Okay, let's hit that switch there, then head over here, then go down this way in order to get that treasure chest that we saw much earlier when we first came into this floor right here. Ooh, get a dragon card. That summons the fire drink, which is the spell that Taunt has. Okay, now that we've gotten that treasure chest, and we need to hit these switches that we've already hit previously. So yeah, hit that one, then go back over and hit this first one. Then follow this first path over here, down these stairs. Now we can go through that narrow passageway there. Uh, we have a decently sized group here. Um, nothing too major, I figure I'd just show it off. You know what, let's use... We haven't used much of Edward's magic, so yeah, let's go ahead and use that right there. Just to show off what some of these guys can do. Um, the summoners have been casting Fire 2 on my group. As you can see, my LP is a bit lower than it was last time I mentioned it, especially Samson's. Ugh, yeah. And I'm almost out of MP for David at this point as well. I, don't, I think I only have like 4 MP left on him. And I've been healing in battle with Annie to keep my LP levels up as high as humanly possible also. Haven't had to dip into my herb supply yet, but thankfully. There's a more of like a last resort sort of thing, just in case. I would rather use MP first, then go after um, herbs and things like that. Okay, on this floor, what I want to do is hit this switch right here. Then let's go over this way and hit this switch over here. Perfect. Now we need to head on back by heading down this way that we came. There we go. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. No. Okay, um, let's... Oh, wait, no, maybe I do need to hit this thing again. Yeah, okay, I do. So now I'm gonna head down this way. And then down this set of stairs, then all the way around this whole room. Okay, here we have the major pains in the asses here. The sylphs. I hate these guys. Um... You know what, let's actually, tr we'll try to silence them. I doubt that it will work, but we'll give it a shot. The problem with the Sylphs is number one, they have 28 HP, which is like higher than anybody else in here for the most part. Is, is, is this gonna work? Oh, okay, I got one of them silenced. That's very nice. Um, but the other thing is, is that they can cast Wind 1, which hits a group, and Wind 2, which hits a group for even harder. It's really, really, really bad. But, hey, I killed them before they killed me. Because, man, they really would have killed me. Ooh, those guys are hard. Looks like they only appear on, um, on floors that are kind of, you know, what am I trying to say? On lower level floors, like none of the upper level floors, because they are a hard monster. I'm actually getting, like, shockingly lucky in this place. Either that or my memory's failing me. Whenever I was a kid, I remember having so much problems with this place. But then again, that was, like, 20 years ago, and I also didn't have Taunt. Okay, let's see. Uh, I think I want to go down here and hit this one, right there. Actually, no, sorry about that little cut there. I made a mistake. I didn't want to hit that one. I want to go down here, past that one, then hit this one. Okay. Then I want to head over this path. Up here. Let's see. Keep on going all the way around. Um, until we hit this switch. Then I want to head back over here towards the entrance. By the way, those gargoyles, they can petrify you. That's horrible. Thankfully, it wears off at the end of battle. Annie just got petrified. Whew, I was freaked out. I was thinking I was going to have to, like, reset or something because my healer was just, you know, petrified and I'd be screwed and I didn't have any, like, soft potions or healing herbs or whatever. But thankfully, the game doesn't screw you too much. Okay, keep on going. Man, I am lucky. I've only had that one fight with the Sylphs. I haven't had any other fights with, with any kind of magic casting enemies, and they didn't even cast wind on me. Like, I'm doing great. But there we get the Moon Crescent. So these are my stats right now. But as you can see, there's another chest down there. If you care about it, you can go and get it. Um, if you don't, you can cast the Escape Spell or use the Guiding Branch. But I'm going to get the chest. 
The easiest way to get the chest is to leave this place, just go back up the stairs and then come back down. That's gonna reset all the switches. So I'm gonna meet you back at the stairs. I'm on my way back to the stairs, and I figured I'd just show you this fight, just so you can see my pain! You can see what can actually happen when the monsters ambush you, and then cast Wind Level 2 on you, and then proceed to just rape you. It's so horrible. Um, yeah, just use Fire 2 on them. Thankfully, if your entire party's groggied, that doesn't mean that you're, like, dead, you know? You will revive and you will come back eventually only to get blasted by the next tornado thanks sylph thanks see what i whoa oh come on annie oh man annie's a tank she can take it uh. whoa and samson's he lost all of his lp oh my god so if samson gets down again he is a goner <laughs> yeah, whenever you get ambushed and you get screwed like this, now is the time to use your spells. Probably didn't even need that holy light, but hey, whatever. I'm not complaining. Bam! Bye, Sylph! Yeah, and then we get all revived up for the uh, trek back to the stairs. Again, meet you there, unless something else terrible happens. Okay, I survived, and I'm back at these stairs. Skip that switch again. Keep on going south. And then you want to hit this switch. There we go. And then head back to the previous switch that we skipped. Okay, perfect. Now we went head over this path right here. And then just follow it over here to this switch. Okay, now that we've done that, head down this path. And yeah, that's the treasure chest that we're going for right there. So just go down to these set of stairs and then just head on over here until we can head over this way to grab the said chest. Yoikes! Okay, here we have some new monsters, the Assassins. And you know what? I'm almost done with this place. I'm gonna use a Fire Drake on them. Whatever. It hits all enemies. I'm gonna be out of here soon enough. I'll be back at an inn. I don't really care. The Assassins have 30 HP. They can attack twice per round, though, which is pretty rough. <laughs> but they're not going to attack twice if they attack Annie, because Annie's going to just kick your ass. Love Annie. Oh, she's so good. I love that Fire Drake spell. It's so nice. I missed it the first time around. I can't believe it. I cannot believe that I missed Taunt whenever I played this game 20-something years ago without the internet, but eh, whatever. Hey, there we go. We got the Fire Drake face. Awesome. So now, we are done with this place. Where's my guiding branch? There it is. Perfect. Yeah. Out we go. Okay, so yeah, now we have to uh, get on out of here, but we got the Moon Crescent, which uh, somebody in Port Town Luna was looking for. So let's just go there and uh, give it to him, hand it off to him. Why not? Gonna get on out of here, and I will meet you in Luna next time on Let's Play Beyond the Beyond. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.